Welcome. This is The Hustle Report with Jason Malone, presented by Clicks Media. Now here's your host. So I want to talk about how easy it is for you to actually embark upon your own entrepreneurial journey. You know, a lot of us, we're in these positions and we think because of our immediate circumstance or our perceived lack of resources that we don't have the ability to actually pursue our dreams. And I just I just want to iterate that that's not true. You know, that's something that is all in your own mind and your ability, your capability to achieve your dreams is already inside of you. You just have to unlock it and pursue it. You don't have to wait for anyone to give you permission. You don't have to, you know, wait for the right time. You can literally start right now in the process of pursuing your dreams. And it all starts in your mind because we have to have the vision first before it actually comes to fruition. You have to see it in your mind first before you actually achieve it. And that that process starts with you. It doesn't start with how much money you have or where you went to school or where you live. It starts with your own vision. And as long as you have that vision and you have the the work ethic to to actually pursue that vision, you can achieve it. It's it's all with you. And yes, there there might be some obstacles and yes, there will be some difficulty. But if it was easy, everyone would do it. So you just have to lock in and, and understand that, okay, this is not going to be simple, but I actually can achieve it. And as long as you hold on to that vision, you will achieve it. And it might not happen in the timeline that you want it to. But as long as you do not let go of that, it will happen. And we could talk about the metaphysical and the science behind it. But I'm I'm a man of faith. And, you know, the Bible says, ask and ye shall receive. It also says that every door you knock on, it shall be opened up onto you. And I'm paraphrasing a little bit. But the point is, is that if you actually want to achieve something and you go for it and you put forth the effort to make it happen, you know, within reason, it will happen. And it might not happen in the, in the timeline that you wanted to. Right. And we, we cut, we have to be like realistic about things too. Right. So if you're, you know, five feet tall and you want to play in the NBA and you don't have the skill set or the athletic ability to do so, you know, that's that's a whole different type of thing. But we're, 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 we're talking about things that you can achieve as far as like your career, things that you want to accomplish. Maybe it's something that you want to build. These things can happen as long as you have the vision first and you do what you're supposed to be doing, walking in that direction to achieve that, putting forth the effort to achieve that. It's not going to happen via osmosis. It's not going to happen with you sitting there. You actually have to walk in that direction to make that happen. So in addition to your vision and the faith that you can achieve, you actually have to put forth the action to achieve, right? Because faith is an action word. Faith doesn't mean I just I just faith it in my mind and it happens. No, like the faith is you taking the steps necessary for for that to happen. Faith is you reading the books to learn more about that particular space or industry. Faith is you going and making those phone calls that you might be afraid to make because you might be an introvert. Faith is you traveling somewhere to meet with someone that might be able to give you an opportunity. That's that's the action. And if you're not taking that action, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen with you just sitting there thinking about it. No, you, you, you have the vision first. You have your plan and then you take that action executing on your plan so that you can achieve your goals. And in the process of achieving your goals, I I want to focus on the importance of maintaining a positive mindset in the process. 
Because again, these thoughts become things. So if you're thinking positive, positive things will happen. And if you're thinking negative, negative things will happen. So whatever is required for you to maintain a positive mindset, maintaining positive thoughts, making sure that the negativity and the idea of I can't and it's too hard doesn't take a foothold in your mind like that is super important to help you achieve your goals. And so if you find yourself in an environment where it's very negative and it's too hard to think positive, you know, the energy is drive uh, pulling you down, then maybe you need to think about changing your environment, changing what you're feeding yourself, changing what you're watching, changing what you're listening to, changing what you're reading so that you can start to feed yourself more positivity so more positive things can happen because that positive thought process will put you on that wavelength so that you start to see more opportunity and that more good things will happen in the direction of you actually achieving your goals. So if your goal is to buy a house, then you need to hold that vision and create a plan for that vision. And then once that plan is created, then you need to start actually executing on that plan and taking the steps in that direction. If you want to have you want to generate ten thousand dollars a month passive, then you need to create a plan to help you achieve that. And in the process of that plan, not get discouraged if you reach hurdles, because we all reach hurdles. That's life. Right. But part of part of life is testing how bad do we actually want to achieve our goals? Again, like I said, if, if it was easy, everyone would do it, but it's not going to be easy. And that resistance is part of the process. But your persistence against that resistance will help you achieve. But it all starts with you. Don't wait for the handout. Don't wait until, you know, next week. Don't procrastinate, basically. Hold fast to your vision. Think about what it is that you want to accomplish. Create a plan to achieve that and then start to execute on that plan. And don't make excuses when things come about. Again, this is that's all part of the process. And life has a way of testing how bad we want to achieve what we want to achieve. So understand that that difficulty or those hurdles are only going to make you stronger because as you start to hit certain milestones and you start to get closer to your goals, you're you're going to have to take on more responsibility. There's more things that you're going to have to shoulder and those difficulties make you stronger to be able to actually deal with those the, that extra responsibility, deal with those, you know, the, those extra burdens. Because the more the more you have, the more responsibility you have. We've all heard it to whom much is given, much is expected. And as you start to get closer to your your goals and you start to obtain more and you you take on, you know, you, you achieve more, then you're going to have more responsibility. There's going to be more burden that you have to carry. But that's all part of the process. Right. So if you if you actually want to, you know, change your your situation, please expect that in changing your situation and in gaining more and achieving more, you're going to be responsible for more. And it's not going to be easy. That resistance along the way and then also the resistance that you'll continue to to experience even once you achieve your goals. Like there's there is no easy street. Even those that we think have it all like the billionaires, for example, let's let's say Bill Gates. We have no idea how much pressure he's actually under. Yes, he has you know, ridiculous amounts of wealth. But with that wealth comes tons of responsibility. So I say that to just just represent that as you get as you climb that mountain, the air gets thinner and it does get harder to breathe. But in your training, you know, when climbing all those hurdles along the way, you'll be ready for it. So if you want to change your situation, don't just sit there day after day, hoping and wishing. 
actually do something about it. That that vision that is bothering you, create a plan for it. And then have the faith and start to execute on that plan so that you can achieve what it is that you want to achieve. This episode was brought to you by Clicks Media, where they're focused on giving you the tools and information that you need to help you start and scale your online business. All right, guys, I appreciate you for tuning in and we'll see you on the next episode.